What's up guys, Nick here with a brand new Let's Play that's going to be starting up on my channel. Do y'all remember my first full Let's Play that I actually did called uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Well, guess what? There was a sequel on the DS. Thankfully, uh, with the help of Bud, well, actually he pretty much did everything. Uh, I have a brand new game that I'm going to start on my channel. Uh, as you can tell, it's probably something that's actually going to be pretty fun. I've already played and beaten the game, so I'm not doing this blind. But it's a game that I really liked for the series it's a part of. We're just going to go ahead and watch this. And uh, if I can actually save right, then these episodes will be longer than the first Let's Play I did, which was like six or seven hours long, probably more than that. But it was mainly because I couldn't save why I didn't do so many long episodes. But here's the game. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon! Explorers of Darkness! I'll just tell you this. I love this game. Alright. The screen on the left is the top screen, and the screen on the right is a bottom screen. So, I'm going to be having both on screen. Now this, I'm going to do respectfully, meaning I'm going to record it straight up. I'm not going to skip this part, meaning the choice of who I want to be. I'm giving you all enough time to read this. Beyond this gateway, many new adventures and fresh experiences await your arrival. Before you embark, de depart for an adventure, you must answer a few questions. Be truthful when you answer them. Now, are you ready? Then, let the questions begin. Have you had any hobbies for a long time? Yes. Have you ever upset a friend when you were just kidding around? Yes. How do you blow up a balloon? As close to the breaking as possible. Big but not too big. I don't... Uh, it could pop. Uh, I actually do it like that. Your friend is crying right in front of you. What made it happen? Someone bullied him? Your friend fell down, no doubt. <laughs> I wonder if it's my fault. Hmm. He fell down, no doubt. Nah. Would you ever consider sticking to a plan to do 10 setups a day? No, who would want to do that? Your friends seem to be having a fun chat out of ease, ear, earshot. What do you do? Join and chat along? Nothing, I'm not interested. Eavesdrop from a distance. I'll join in. Do you change the channels often while watching TV? Yes. Can you strike up conversations with new people easily? Actually, I can. Are you male or female? I'm male. Now, here's the part that... Uh, I don't know if this is going to show I'm recording out, but you have to use the touchpad. This is like the only time you have to use the touchpad. The aura energy that you radiate. Relax. Calm yourself. Press the keypad. You don't have to breathe or anything. It automatically registers. It's stupid. It's the only time I... Okay, can I say I can release? Okay. Lift your finger from the touchpad. Your aura is... The fuck? Brilliant green! I swear it was blue light when I did a test of this. It was. Thank you for answering all these questions. You seem to be the naive type. Ah, oh, shit. You're open. You're so open and innocent. Yeah, sure. What a strong sense of curiosity you have, and you state your opinions purely, sharing exactly what you think. You also have an artistic spirit that isn't restrained by social <laughs> conventions. You startle people with your spontaneous whatever that was but when you overdo it other people can have a hard time keeping up with you have you noticed people looking at you oddly yes <laughs> as if for no apparent reason so a naive innocent type like you will be a chimchar uh, I don't like chimchar but like I said I'm gonna go truthfully I answered all those right so I'll, get, I'll go with chimchar and finally who will your partner be? Choose a Pokemon you want to be. Be your partner. Oh no! Bud can't be in the. Uh, he can. Um. Shoot. 
Nah, we're gonna go different here. Um, well, the Pikachu's a male. Trico. I don't think Bud likes Trico either. Turtwig. Yeah, let's go Pikachu. You got, I have to make my partner Bud. I mean, he's still gonna be named Bud. What's up, Bud? Alright. Bud the Pikachu. I'd believe it. You're off to the world of Pokemon! Be strong, stay smart, and be victorious! Chapter 1. A Storm at Sea. Here comes a lot of reading. Whoa! Whoa! whoa. Are, you, are you okay? No! Don't let go! Just a little longer! Come on! Hang on! N no! I can't! Hold on! Whoa! He got struck by lightning. I'm a fire type, so I can handle it. That's a pretty cool cutscene, though. I'll tell you what. That looks like a Pokemon head. It is. I don't know who that is, though. Maybe a Rhyhorn? Or a Rhydon? Maybe a Rhyhorn. They're the same. Dot, 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 Ugh. Erg. 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 Where? Where am I? Ah! <laughs> I can't. Drifting off. And he fell asleep. Hmm. Fat little Pikachu. <laughs> Big ass. No. I refuse to be paralyzed by this any longer. This is it. I have to. S I have to steal my courage today. The fuck? Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Pikachu's. The footprint is Pikachu's. Whoa! That was too shocking! <laughs> Funny that a Pikachu says that. Woo! I can't... I can't work up the courage to go in, after all. I told myself that this is the day, but... Got a rock. I thought that holding on to my personal treasure would inspire me. Huh, I just can't do it. I'm such a coward. This is so so discouraging. He does look fat. Look at his face is huge. Aw oh, shit. Golfing. Hey Zubat. Did you get a load of that? Yes, I did, coughing. I don't know how it's even sounds. That little twerp was pacing around. Had something good, right? That twerp had something. That's for sure. It looked like some kind of treasure. Do we go after him? Yes, we do. Or, we do. Whatever. Boom, 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 ba, ba, boom, boom, boom. I don't know why I just did that. This isn't Earthbound. Crabby. Coffee. I'm trying to get the voices right. Like I said, I don't know how pe uh, Zubat sounds. It has like a... Oh, wow. What a pretty sight. What a pretty map. It is pretty. When the weather's good, the crabby come out and at sundown to blow bubbles. All those bubbles catching the setting, setting sun's rays off the... What the hell did he just say? It's always beautiful. That's why I hated getting Chimchar. I actually would, would have gotten Cyndaquil again. To be Bud, I don't. I wouldn't have cared who I picked, but yeah, well. it's okay. Maybe the next Mystery Dungeon game. This is where I always come when I feel sorry for myself. 
but makes me feel good to be here, like always. Coming here is uplifting. It cheers me up. Hey! What's that? What's going on over there? Whoa! Someone has collapsed on the sand! What happened? Are you okay? Ugh. You're awake! That's a relief. Where... where am I? He's talking to himself. You weren't moving at all. I was seriously worried. Do you remember how you ended up z zonked out here? I zonked out here? What happened? Well, I'm Bud! Glad to meet you. <laughs> he changed his voice. And who are you? I've never seen you around here before. You're around before, huh? What? You say you're a human? Yes, it's just like the last Let's Play. He's human. You look like a totally normal chimchar to me. It's, it's true. I've turned into a chimchar. But how do... How did this happen? I don't remember anything. You're a little odd. Are you pulling some kind of trick on me? You're telling me the truth? Alright. Then what's your name? Alright then, what's your name? What's your name? My name? That's right, my name is... So... If Devi's, if I do get Devi in this role, play, uh, role play, if the, <laughs> in this let's play, uh, it's probably gonna be a uh, Teddy Ursa or something. Nick. Oh, Nick is your name? Okay. Well, you don't seem to be a bad Pokemon, at least. Sorry that I doubted you. More and more bad Pokemon are turning up lately. You see, many Pokemon have gotten aggressive lately. Things are... things have grown somewhat lawless. Ah, shit! No! Ouch! Well, I do beg your pardon. Hey, why'd you do that? Heh <laughs> Can't forget it. <laughs> oh, shit. Can't figure it out? We wanted to mess with you. Can't face up to us, can you? What? That's yours, isn't it? No, that's... Sorry, kiddo. We'll take that. By now. Ah! Zubats. Always trolling Bud. Whoa -ho -ho. Not gonna make a move to get that back? What's the matter? Too scared? I didn't expect that you'd be such a big coward. Come on, let's get out of here. See you around, chicken. <laughs> yes, he sounds like Wario or Waligi. Pikachu's like, no, my rock, no. Oh, well, what, what should I do? What do you think? That's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. If I lose that, oh no, not Pikachu crying. He's like, I'm determined now. No, there's no time to waste. I've got to get it back. Hey, can you help me? Can you help me get it back? Yeah, whatever. Sure. Oh, you will? You'll help me? Th thank you. Let's go quickly. Do 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 do. Beach cave. Bottom floor one. Yeah, we know. Yeah, so it plays just like the last game. You attack an enemy, all that stuff. The top screen is going to be controls, maps, all that stuff. Uh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Um, no, that wasn't it. Uh, maybe it's, we can only get it out of the So it plays the same exact way. And if y'all hear this loud noise, I told my dad I'd be recording, so he goes by my uh, window. He's mowing the grass, so he goes right by my window when I told him I'm going to re be recording now. Uh, whatever. Uh, not that one. Uh, there it is. There's a way to map them, I know it. Yoink. Okay. 
How do you set moves? Whoops. I think you hold... Uh, you set moves, L and A. Okay. So you always have the tackle button, you have the set moves, but you only set one, which kind of sucks. But we'll find out. And here he goes again. I mean, I just told him not to make a bunch of noise. Oh, what am I doing? I don't know. I guess just uh, showing off a little bit. This recording goes as long as the level actually is until we get to the next one. Next part, whatever. And you can hold the beat. Oh, can't go in the water. All Pikachu can do back there is growl at him. And you do recover health over time like the last one. It plays exactly like it. See, Pikachu's just lowering his attack power. There's his defense. And there's leveling up everything. It's just like the other one, and I do like it for that. Uh, Gates of Infinity is the newest one. Uh, well, not newest one. It came, it came out back when I started the first Let's Play. Oh, come on, stupid thing. Just die. Ah! Oops! Get him, Pikachu. Oop. You got Thunderstruck! And you still can't control the partner. That's for status effects, stuff like that. I act like I'm a master of this game. I'm really not. The final level of this game, I think, is the hardest part. Yes, proceed. You can carry one item. The item you find on the floor varies in useful effects. If you find an item, open the menu and use the item on the options. As always. But X instead of uh, star. And here's that. Okay. Pikachu can get involved in this one. Thunderstruck! And Pikachu. Tail whip. So he has three moves? How fair is that? I have one. Proceed. Some areas you'll see the ground tiles with the green arrow. Okay. Watch out! I like how I miss more than anything. And I'm in a water area, by the way. Any of them use water attacks, they're gonna kill me. Ow. I think a Cormon also is a rock type. Right? Come on. Wapow! Move up. Hit him, Pikachu. Hit him with a thunder shock! Or not. Yeah, you still can't control your partner, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Oh, yeah! Level up! Level six! HP up by one, attack by two, defense by two, special tank two. But level up! I think we both level up around the same time. Great, I leveled up. Three, two, 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 two. I believe in this game you can actually have a three partner team. I'm not sure about that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Wapow! Smack you in the face. And from the last one, you could evolve your Pokemon. I found that out. You actually can evolve your Pokemon. The problem being is that you have to beat the game and you have to do something certain in order to do it. So I'm like, okay, I'm not even going to do that. Ooh, a Pokemon's sleeping. Whoops! Uh oh. Pikachu, no! Thunderstro! Or not. There we go. Let's go ahead and explore a little bit. Might find some useful items. Can I hit him from here? No. Wapow! I do like doing that. Scratch the oh, oh! Funny thing, none of them can use their water type moves. And if the main character gets defeated, the game's over. So the last thing you want to do is die on the first one. Come on, Pikachu. He might run out of Thundershot. Nope, there he goes. Okay. Pikachu's pretty powerful when it's against water types. Uh, ah, switch. Ah, 
I honestly don't know how to switch up the stuff, so I just you, I just go forward, Pikachu will attack, whatever. I'm guaranteeing this shit has uh, lawnmowers being picked up by my microphone. I told him not to. I don't care. It's gonna be difficult to edit that out unless I mute the audio for like 10 seconds. <sighs> I don't want to. Come on! GET OUT OF THE WAY! Proceed. Oh! Sweet. Beach Cave Pit. WE'RE COME FOR A BITCH! Uh, hey! Whoa, whoa. If it isn't our old friend, the big chicken. I'm a mouse! Hey, baby, I'm a mouse! Give me... Give me back what you stole from me! That's my personal treasure. It, it means everything to me. Eventually, I'm gonna stop reading. Treasure, you say? So that thing really is valuable? Huh? It could be worth more than we hope for, I'd say. We ought to try and sell it. Who knows? It might be a get a good price. Oh ho ho ho. All the more reason to not give it back. What? If you want it back so badly. Oh shit. Come and get it. <laughs> Roll battle! Alright. We're gonna attack coffee. Wapow! Insta kill! Get him, Pikachu! Or not. Tackle attack! Oh, yeah! That was quick. Oh, oh, oh! And. We got roughed up. Blast it. How we get wiped out by a bunch of wimps like you? Blah. Here you go, take it then. Whoa. Don't think you're awesome. Your victory was a fluke. We killed both of you with like two hits. Yeah, you just remember that. Oh, it's my bro. Relic Fragment! Am I ever glad? I actually did manage to get it back. It's only because you agreed to help me, Nick. Thank you, Nick! Thank you! Seriously! I only helped because I happened to be there. Was that the right thing to do? That's, that, that was kind of a dick thing to think. I guess so. This Pokemon is clearly grateful. It's nice to be appreciated. Here's what they stole. I call it my relic fragment. It's my one treasure. You see, I've always liked the legends and lore. I always get so excited when I hear tales from the past. Don't you feel the same way? Hidden troves full of treasure and strange relics? Uncharted ter ter territories vile in darkness? And new lands just waiting to be discovered? Such places must be full of unimaginable gold and treasures. And history, wouldn't it be amazing to make his historic discoveries? That's what I always dream of. It's all exciting to me. So one day, I happened to come across my relic fragment. I admit that it looks like junk, but take a closer look. See? That inscription forms to a strange pattern, doesn't it? It's true. There's a strange inscription. I've never seen a pattern like that. This. There must be some significance to this pattern. This relic fragment must be the key to legendary places. To areas where precious treasures lo lies. Lies? At least that's the feeling I get. That's why I want to join an exploration team. This fragment must fit into something, somewhere. I want to discover where that is. I want to solve the mystery of my relic fragment. So earlier, I tried joining an exploration team as an apprentice, but I chickened out. What about you, Nick? What are you going to do now? 
You lost your memory, and you somehow transformed into a Pokemon. Do you have somewhere to go and, a, and stay after this? If not, can I ask you a big favor? Would you be willing to form an exploration team with me? I'm convinced that I can form an effective exploration team with you, Nick. So, will you? Please? Whoa! What should I do? I'm getting recruited out of the blue. I don't know what an expo exploration team is. What should I do? Should I join this Pokemon a former exploration team? Ha! <laughs> Say no. Nah, former team. It's true. I do have nowhere to go. I don't have any clue what I should do next. I guess it wouldn't hurt to team up with Bud for now. Maybe I'll eventually discover who or what I am hanging out with this Pokemon. Okay, that's settled. <laughs> yes? Really? You form an exploration team with me? Yes! Thank you! <laughs> that Pikachu face is cute. We're going to be a great combination. Let's make this work. First, we should go to Wigglytuff's place and sign up as an apprentice. That's where we need to train and become a first-rate exploration team. I'm sure the training will be tough. But let's give it our best, Nick! Oh yeah! Pikachu did a fist pump as always. Uh, let's go ahead and end it here. We'll start the next episode at this point, And we'll continue with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers or Darkness. I'm glad y'all are able to join me on this little bit of adventure, fighting a coughing and Zubat, watching Bud finally kill the Zubat. <laughs> so, I'll see y'all next time on Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Darkness. See you later.